March 28, Create a Transaction View. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out all other how-to videos from this channel. Also, subscribe and share. It will be helpful for the channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a view in SQL Server Management Studio. Specifically, we will be creating a view for transaction base table. We will also have to uh, update our uh, query transaction running balance in the uh, in the CMS. Let's start coding. All right, let's go to our file explorer, C drive, access projects. We are going to make a copy of the latest module. Let's make a copy of module 27. Control C, Control V. We're going to change that to uh, 28, creating, um, how about transaction uh, view, transaction base view. Let's go in there. All right, what we want to do is I'm, I am going to show you how you could uh, create a view in SQL Server and add a link table to it. What we want to do is uh, replacing this guy right here. All right. And this guy is used in here. If you go in here, design view, you know, I notice it's using that transaction based view all right so if we take a, so if we take a look at this guy inside there it's just a transaction all right just a transaction uh, so that's what we want to do we're going to create this view base and port it in and replace this all right, let's see how we can do that. Let's go to uh, SQL Server Management Studio. If you don't see this right here, you can just type in SQL, and that brings up your SQL Server Management Studio. All right, let's connect to it. And now what we want is to go to Databases, Select the CMS, go to the design view. All right, let's get back to our uh, access and go to SQL view, copy over there, and paste it in here. So here we want to replace the underscore with the dot and add a bracket since the transaction. If you notice, this is how it's uh, uh, Print it in uh, blue. That means it's reserved word. So what we want to do is to bracket it out like so. And now to replace a bunch of these, all right. Instead of just removing it, we could just remove it, all right. We can just do it like so. And it just no, all right. So now in access, you will have to type this guy in for it to work. In SQL, you don't. It just recognize it. It just know. All right. So that's what we want to do. Just remove that. Uh, do, 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 do. And that looks good right there. Let's uh, execute this. There we have it. All right. And I notice this guy right here. See how it just got one zero in there. All right. And I th believe the data type is different. All right here. So let's take a look at the uh, transaction table here. Let's go to uh, tables, transaction, right click, design. We're going to check out on the amount of this guy. 
All right. There you go. The amount is float. We want to change that to uh, de uh, decimal, like so. And then we want it to have two digits behind the dot. So we just do like so. All right. Control, uh, let's save that. Close it. And if you rerun this guy, these zeros will be replaced by 0, 0.00. All right, let's run that. There you have it. And that's how, that's what we want, all right? That's what we want. So now we can just select this guy, copy, and in, close that out, and in the view here, select the views, right click, add new view. And close that out. Control A, select all, delete, and then Control V, play, uh, paste. All right, and now we're going to click on the save icon here. Let's name this VW, that's, and that stands for view, underscore, how about transaction, underscore, base. And it says uh, uh, something is not recognizable in the diagram. So we're not going to worry about that, just ignore it for now. All right. Oh, it might be this uh, here, but that's okay. All right, SQL tends to give you lots of warnings. All right, now we're going to see if that view we created works. Actually, I don't want to look at it in here. Uh, I want to open up a new query. And now I can say select from view w trans section underscore base and let's look at that now flip back see that that looks exactly the same as this one perfect that's what we want that's what we want all right so now we can close this view let's get back to our uh, access um, I'm gonna close this transaction view if you notice, we don't have one in here. All right, we are going to import that in here or link to it. Let's create new data source from database SQL Server, link table. And then we're going to select all of the uh, DSN file. Let's go to our projects. This is the tw module 28. So look for module 28. Oops right there go in there there's our file select that okay to log in use the windows integrated and okay you see the view transaction base right here we'll select that okay and select the transaction number as our id now we have the base you see there now, what we want to do is to modify this guy. Instead of using this base, we are going to use this base. All right, so let's go in there. Design view. We are just going to uh, replace the query with the V, uh, actually with the D, B, O, underscore, VW underscore uh, and then I'm just going to copy this guy oops just going to copy this guy copy and highlight this guy and paste uh, let's see let's continue that looks good that looks good that's all we have to do is just replace those two guys I think all right, let's let's uh, let's run it before we save. Perfect. You see that? That just works like that. Save. Good. 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 Very good. Now before we delete this guy, let's go run our application. See if that works. All right. So now it, when you click on that, it uses the this guy. 
All right, so let's close that out. Let's run our application and see what's going on. Make sure that works. Let's go to main. Um, let's go to uh, here. Here's a transaction. So if we click on this, look at that. We got one there. That is the list. All right. So I think this is transaction. So I'm, you know what? I'm going to close it out. I want to see what that is. It's a it's this uh, sub form transaction. And this one using, oh, okay, this one's using transaction list. So let's take a look at the transaction list. Transaction list, this guy. Let's go in the design view. And that is using the table. Table. We, are, we know it's using the correct link table. There's D, DBO underscore. Good. Good. That's good. All right. That's good. So that's not the base. Uh, let's see. Where do we find the base? Mm, where we well, let's run that again. I want to see where the base table is access. Let's, I'm going to select that again. I'm interested in these guys. I wonder if these guys come from the base. Uh, one way to find out is to uh, uh, I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to go in here. Uh, let's see. I wonder where is that guy? This is a customer's DB access. Get account balance. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. That's what it uses. So transaction running balance. All right. So if we look in this uh, query, transaction running balance. Uh, do, 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 do here. Let's go back to query. Transaction running balance. This guy. Remember with now this guy uses this guy All right so if we go in there just we saw that see how it's using the view using the view there so that means we could basically rename this guy to different things before we they all before we remove so get the account balance now the account balance is showing here that's the account balance the total credit total debit comes from the bottom here see total credit total debit see there so so that means that's good I mean that's good that's good yep red means uh, it's ordering correctly too look at that so 11 16 41 minus this guy results in 9 16 41 Minus that guy results in five sixty sixty six forty one and so on. So that's good. That's all we had to do. We just made one view, and that just works for all. So I bet you, if we remove this guy, like delete it, all is still working. All right. So let's try that. I'm going to delete. Are you sure? Yes. See, if, if it breaks, we're going to have to fix it. All right. So let's. I just delete that. That still works. How about count? How about count? Let's let's see this. Look at that. That still works. 
Alright, I think the account balance also uses, uh, let me see, the uh, accounts report, account statement report. Let's see what it uses. It uses query statement, account statement. Alright, let's take a look at account statement, which is this guy. I'm going to right click on that, looking at the query, see there, transaction running balance. See there? And that's something we just replace one query uh, with this uh, view. The whole thing is still working. All right, provided that we modify this guy to use the view base from SQL Server. See there? And that's good. And that's how you would do it. That's how you would use the view. So how cool is that? Just uh, adding one view here. This guy. We have and updating this guy to use that. We have essentially fixed this guy and fixed this guy. Isn't that cool? Let's take a look at this transaction. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, actually, that one is okay because it uses table. All right, so that's all right. So, but this guy right here, you see that? It's using that query, this query. And that's it. That's pretty simple. Nice and simple view. Just by adding one view, it we are now using the, the view from SQL Server instead of the view from the uh, uh, from the access all right so that's how you would create a that's how you would create the uh, uh, the view just add the view and put it in similar to the table okay and everything just work look at that there notice this three right here the last these items right here, the last payment date, last payment, total credit, these all come from the view. These all come from the view. The, the, the view we just created. And that's that. That's a short video on creating a view and updating all uh, view in the uh, SQL, in the uh, access. Nice and simple view. There you have it. Happy programming. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell. And also comment below and if you need help, inbox me. Thanks again.